What is up everybody? Before we start the video, go check out your boy's website, gooseperformance.com. Get some swag, support your boy, support the channel. Let's get back to the video. Shelby, Shelby America. Guys, what is up? Welcome back to the channel. Guys, we had just pulled up to Dipped Auto Works picking up those wheels boys it is the day today we're gonna pick up these wheels we had a little something done to them that i wanted to change up wanted a little bit of color a little bit of that black in there let me show you guys let's go see what we got all right boys let's see what we got up in here show us the goods oh loudy loud loud oh look at that boys look at that what do you guys think though boys a little something a little different huh not the usual I had to throw that little black in there just to match the car boys these are gonna look super fire on the car i cannot wait to see what these things look like we got to go ahead to the tire shop though and get some rubber bands on these things and then to the chevelle All right, boys, we got the wheels loaded up. We got to head to the tire shop and get these mounted and pick up Paul's wheels. We may have found a solution for those wheels to figure out why they were not fitting correctly. So we'll see what happens. I'll see you guys in a bit. Damn, Gina. We got some rubber, boys. We got some rubber on these rockets, boys. I'm gonna let you guys know the size here in a little bit once we get back to the shop. But we also went ahead and picked that one up for Paul. Um, so that should be good to go for the rears. We're still trying to figure out the front situation. But look at those boys. We got them wrapped in Falcon tires. We had to do a little bit different though. The back tire is more of a performance tire slash slick. I guess you can call it more of an autocross tire. Versus the fronts are more of a streetable tire because of the different size boys. These are 11s and those are 8s. So that's what's going on. I got to go square up with this guy real quick. Go pay. Gotta pay to play, boys. I'll see you guys in a bit. What you doing, big hungry? Big hungry over there. We gotta eat, we gotta eat boys. We're gonna take a quick little lunch break. You know, I had to stop by and get that in and out. Got that protein style burger, boys. What you guys know about that? But gotta get this grub in real quick, guys. Um, I gotta unload those wheels if we have some time. If not, we'll do it in the morning. Try to get them on the Chevelle. We'll see what it looks like guys real quick i uh, just want to give a big special thanks big shout out to rocket racing guys they have come in so clutch for this car um obviously they hooked us up on the black one they took care of us on this red one as well guys i could not find wheels to save my life everybody was three months out crazy eight weeks whatever it was man they got us to us three weeks maybe with a little bit of weight and obviously on the tires but big special thanks to you guys i appreciate you now let me show you what's going on it is time boys it is time how's my hair y'all how's my hair is it messed up is it clapped out a little bit well it is the next day boys we ran out of time yesterday but you see it you see it oh big red it's time to put the new shoes on let's go ahead and put these shoes on see what they look like i'm really hoping we got the backspacing correct just because you guys saw the issue we had with the charger so let's get down to it i will let you know the backspacing as soon as we get these things on damn gina oh my god oh my god boys it is super hot but look at that though boys 
let's take a step back right quick man day and night boys day and night oh my god that looks freaking good it's dirty though car is super dirty and the wheels are super dirty but we still got this side to do we still got this freaking side to do with a little youtube magic bam son <whistles> clean clean boys we just got to put the hub caps in the or i should say center caps hit those center caps up right quick but man 11 inch wide boys 18 by 11s in the back and 18 by 8s up front now as far as the back spacing goes because i know you guys want to know um it is like super super tight and close and probably perfect honestly i mean you can see what kind of room we got up there we didn't we haven't cut anything i should say we didn't cut anything there it's going to be super close and tight but there's plenty of room in there but as far as in here goes between the frame as well you guys can see how tight it is it's super tight it's definitely closed but no issues no with the frame right there it's gonna fit just fine just perfect so for the rear boys we got like i said 18 by 11s but with the six and a half inch backspacing so that basically allows you to bring in that wheel as far as you can before it hits the frame with enough clearance now in the front i went super conservative boys you definitely could probably go with the nine inch but i wanted to be conservative just because how low the car is up front if you guys look you could probably get an extra inch there but uh it's gonna be really close but i went with the eight just to be conservative just because this car obviously is gonna be more of a daily not really a autocross car or anything like that but this is a eight inch wide by 18 with a five inch back space so we should have plenty of clearance in here so you guys can see um we should have any clearance even with full turn full lock as a matter of fact let's lock them up real quick and make sure we're good so you guys can see whoops i guess that's what happens when you got the car in gear come on dog jesus good thing for that e-brake boys that was not good there we go all right let's go full lock we'll go right first feels good issues there oh yeah look at that boys like I said, if you go nine if you go nine it's gonna be closed if you go nine inch but no issues with that at all boys that's gonna be perfect you can go the other way you shouldn't have any problems either let's go back the other way We're good, boys. We are good. Big block ready to go, boys. We need to give this thing a bath, boys. This thing needs a shower. Well, guys, I think that's going to do it for this video, man. Let me know what you guys think. Hopefully, that information helps you guys out. But, man, the big red is ready to hit the streets, boys. This thing is looking good. Like I said, we got to go get a little detail, a little wash. But look at that stance now. Look at that stands boys staggered wheels looking good yeah we got to go ahead hit the car wash real quick once again you guys make sure you guys give me a follow on instagram at ss goose on instagram and you guys always always hit the subscribe button and hit the like button and hit the bell for notifications and stay wrenching